Uh, hi parents, just wanted to remind you about our curve target for summer one. So in year two, we want them to know the multiplication and division, division facts for the 10 times table. By the end of this half term, children should know the following facts. And the aim is for them to know them instantly, so to recall them instantly. So we've got the 10 times table up to 12, and then the division factor goes with it as well. The key vocabulary, what is 10 multiplied by 3, so multiplied by... What is 10 times 9? So again, the key vocabulary is times. And what is 70 divided by 10? So the key vocabulary divided by. They should be able to answer these sorts of questions in any order, including missing number questions. An example of that is 10 times the missing number is equal to 80, or something divided by 10 is equal to 6. Uh, lots of top tips for you on your sheet. The secret to this success is practicing little and often. Use time wisely. Can you practice these curves while walking to school or during a car journey? You don't need to practice them all at once. Perhaps you could have a fact of the day. If you would like more ideas, please speak to myself or Miss Jenkins. Okay. Make sure that your child is pronouncing the numbers correctly and not getting confused between 13 and 30. Songs and chants. You can buy times table CDs or find multiplication songs and chants online. Uh, if your child creates their own song, this can make the times table even more memorable. Test the parents. Your child can make up their own tricky division questions for you. For example, what is 70 divided by 7? They need to be able to multiply to create these questions. Apply these facts in real life situations. How many toes are in your house? What other multiplication and division question can your child make up? We've also got lots of activities in your child's homework book which again focus on their targets. We've got the 10 times table activities where they've got a number grid where they're counting tens and colour in the grid and then work out the answers. You can also use things like the cubes. And again, if you haven't got those cubes at home, you can use other things like the pencil could represent the 10, a coin could represent the ones. So again, you could use those. We've got writing the 10 times table and the division sentence to go with it. So an example of that is 1 times 10 equals 10. So we also know that 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. We then move on to some division sheets that we've got, which is again just focusing on them working out what that division fact is and then colouring it in the correct colour. We've also got a mixture, so once your child's confident with the multiplication and the division, we then move on to uh, writing the answers to these multiplication and division facts in the bubbles. And we've also got one here as well where help Captain Salamander cross the river by shading in the stepping stones, counting in tens. And then at the bottom here, we've got um, the division and the multiplication fact. Okay, as we said before, any questions, don't hesitate to dojo us. You'll find this video on the website. Thank you very much.